don't know anything about rugby, but I'm happy. Welcome to Tokyo, Japan. I am here in Japan. This is my hotel it's called the Pullman Hotel. Super fancy. And I filmed a video with Mercedes this morning, which was an awesome video. I don't know if it's on the channel yet or not. But tonight is a free night. I don't have anything going on, and I don't fly out till four o'clock tomorrow. So of course, I call my friend John from Only Japan and his wife Kenai, and uh, we're gonna go do something fun. We oh, yeah. just went online to StubHub and purchased tickets to the rugby game tonight because Japan is in the rugby quarterfinals, yes, isn't it? Yes, quarterfinals, semifinals. And they're not supposed to be in this, right? <laughs> no, like, we're very fortunate to pass Scotland. Right? <laughs> yeah, so the odds are not great. I think they have like a 20% chance of winning tonight, which is double what they would have had to start the whole thing, I guess. So, so anyway, so we ordered tickets. We don't actually have the tickets on my phone yet. We're just gonna head, take the train and go there and have a little Japanese adventure and see some rugby, which I've never watched rugby before. So anyway, that's our day. We're gonna take you on the adventure and I'm filming all of this on the new iPhone 11 Pro. This is the front facing camera, 4K 60. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, we went on like 20 trains. It's been a really <laughs> long time. But finally we're here, I think, and we're gonna go find some food because I haven't eaten since breakfast. But uh, pretty much madness. Good news, the tickets did come to my email while we were on one of the many trains. So John says the trick is we go to 7-Eleven and they will print our tickets for us. We're gonna test that out. We found the 7-Eleven, there she is. John, how confident are you that we're actually going to get the tickets printed at 7-Eleven? 100%. There's a printer. <laughs> it's actually a printer. 7-Eleven. We did it. Today we learned that 7-Eleven is the Kinkos. Do you want or to push FedEx the button? Do you of uh, Japan. Push, push the button. Push the button. Go ahead, push the button. All right. I'm gonna push one. this one that says this um, stuff. Okay, I ruined it. Start. Of course, that says start. Tickets with beautiful color, I might add. Very good color. There's our tickets. We are Lavuyo Mabo Mobo. <laughs> That's apparently us. <laughs> I forgot to take my change. So you left all your change in there? Did you see how honest she was? She found the change and then she came over to my wife who said, she said, do you speak Japanese? We found some change and I'm pretty sure it was yours. So that nice lady who was waiting to use the copy machine. Wow. Wow. The adventures that you find at the 7-Eleven coffee machine. I don't know much about rugby, but there's a chance going to 7-Eleven is more exciting than the actual rugby match. And I'm okay with that because I just learned something new. You can get printing done at 7-Eleven and there's very honest people. Sometimes there's a line for printing to be done there. It's so popular. <laughs> here it's madness it's a very very cool environment it's it's just like a lot of the big sporting events i've ever been to and i've never seen rugby even on tv have you uh once the match before japan for scotland we won no. we won <laughs> so so that's it so can i seen a lot of rugby right you're the pro no. that was our no. first one too oh no okay so really we are kind of just gonna wing it and just cheer whenever everybody else cheers we'll cheer we need to find a where's waldo jersey i mean a Japan jersey. There was one guy earlier that had like the Where's Waldo shirt on it, and then he also had the glasses. I kind of filmed him. I think he was legit trying to be like Where's Waldo because it wasn't, it didn't have like the logos on it. But anyway, this stadium looks pretty amazing. Check it out. Can we 
not get jerseys? They don't sell them here, and there's at the sports store. Um, I don't know what to do. So. so if we go to the sports store, we can't come back in the match. That's right. We blew it. We could have had Where's Waldo jerseys. Now we have to go to a game in this. Um, you can't leave the stadium and come back in. So we've already come in the stadium. It was my idea to come in quick. I figured you could buy them in here. The official merchandise only sells that stuff, but nothing that's like the actual jersey. So, okay, good news. Look at this shirt. It says Japan on it. It's not a Japan team rugby thing, but it should work, right? She doesn't want to wear the red shirt, Dan, because it just says Japan and it's embarrassing. Like, what? Japan. You don't want to wear a Japan? You're from Japan. I'll wear it and it doesn't even fit me. <laughs> I think I might have to get one and just squeeze it on just to wear something in red. All right, we're going to get the smallest size so I can put it on my head. Looks good. I'm so happy we did this. I'm so happy that we are here right now. I, have, I don't know anything about rugby, but I'm happy. The moment of truth. <laughs> How tight is it, Dan? I don't think it's going to fit. <laughs> <laughs> or does it fit perfectly? How's that? Perfect. <laughs> this is so ridiculous that I love it. Rugby shirt right here, looks good, and then the red on my hat. Japan better win this thing. to test out the food here. What do they actually have? It's food time, it's food time. All right, what's our options here? Let's check it out. We have French fries, beef yakinuki sandwich. What's beef yakinuki? Beef yakinuki sandwich. It is grilled beef in a sandwich. Perfect. Um, what about? Framboise donut. It's a donut. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, Pepsi Japan Cola. Pe Pepsi Japan Cola. This is the food. Noodles. Taste it, see what it tastes like. Pretty good. I don't know if it's there with a hot dog or a cheeseburger, but it's pretty good. Uh, 21 to 3, and I think that's about all she wrote for Japan. Nippon! So, I've been up for a lot of hours. I'm pretty jet lagged, but I'm glad that I did this. Sometimes when you're in a different country or you're on a trip, rather than just doing what's comfortable and sitting in your hotel room, get out and see what the local culture is. I don't know anything about rugby, but I still had a good time. And so uh, it was good, especially when you have good friends that can teach you all about rugby. What did we learn about rugby today? I have no idea. <laughs> I know that it's a lot of fun and people get hurt. Tackling's violent and we love it. And we lost, but yeah. we're happy just to be here. Good. Well, good to see you guys. Next time in Japan, last time was a square watermelon right. and the robot restaurant. Right. This time was rugby. We always do something really fun. 
next time. All right, next time, maybe you guys come to Utah. Ah. Yeah. All right, high fives. Good to see you guys. <laughs> Make sure you check out Only in Japan and Only in Japan Go, the live channel. It's a blast. Okay, all right, see ya. I don't know what that was, but I that liked was it. Awesome. <laughs> Do they do that all the time after? No, I've never seen it like there's like 150 staff members. <laughs> so many high fives.